I'll tell you what, I, it's not just me, but see with this by-election. There's a great many things crawling out from underneath the ground. Excuse me, sir. Can I just ask how you're going to vote in the by-election? Communist. Without a doubt, communist. <laughs> Tell him, man, shut him up, you know. Excuse me, sir. Uh, how are you going to vote in the by-election? Liberal Democrat. And I don't know. <laughs> he touched us that time. You got an Andrew Hosey, your Conservative candidate. Can I rely on your vote in the by-election? My vote? I mean, as a conservative? I mean, a joke's a joke. Please, I'm going. Oh, come on, mate. Please, be a pal. What? Go on, vote for me, please. I mean, nobody else will. I mean, what chance have I got around here? My mommy and all my mates are going to be watching Panorama. And I look that stupid if I don't get any votes. Well, you should have told her that. That's no my fault. You should have told her before you pinned that bit of blue cake in your tit. No, but look at that. Look, I'm only a token working class story. They only put me up because it was cheaper than hiring a monkey for Edinburgh Zoo. Look, honestly, Jim, I'm no a toff. I'm a right wing hustler. I sell carpet off cuts up the indoor market. I mean, look. Look at the knuckles. I'm trash. Same as yourself. That's not a point. It's not a point. The secret of the ballot box is between me and my conscience. That's what I happen to be conscious at a time of course. <laughs> Tell you what. If I give you one of these wee doormats, well, you at least think about it, eh? It means a lot to me. It means bugger out of Maggie Thatcher, but it means a lot to me. Aye, all right. I'll think about it. But I'm not making any promises, mate. Cheers, mate. All the best. If you ever have any trouble with your constitutional rights, you come and see me at the indoor market. All right? Aye, aye. You see that, eh? Bought half of a doormat. Can't help feeling there's something symbolic about that, you know? 